Welcome to Machine Bio. Today, we spotlight one of the most iconic heavy lifter of its time. The crane that stands as a testament to over-engineering, durability, and the enduring value of a well-built crane. And this is the story of the Gottwald AK-912. And without a further ado, let's get it on. Back when the Gottwald AK-912 was on the drawing board, television still ran on vacuum tubes, and engineers didn't yet have the full grasp of modern material stress and strength calculations. To compensate, nearly every plate that went into its construction was cut a little thicker and heavier than necessary. The result was a machine that was exceptionally robust, overbuilt in the best possible way. At the time, a 1,000-ton mobile crane was a groundbreaking achievement. Even in the early 1980s, it was believed the AK-912 could handle up to 1,200 tons, but no one dared officially certify it for that figure. Only three AK-912s were ever built. Outwardly, the model resembles the AK-850, but its revolving superstructure and A-frame are about 55 centimeters or 22 inches longer. This extended lever arm for the ballast weights allows it to lift heavier loads than its predecessor. The first AK-912 was designated AK-912-103, and it was completed in 1985 for Al Jabba in the United Arab Emirates. It features a 7 plus 3 axle arrangement, seven axles ahead of the slew ring and three behind, because it does not have a separate superstructure. Unlike the other two cranes, the second crane was built in 1986, carried the designation AK-912-103 GT. This version had a divisible superstructure transported on a special Gottwald-built vehicle, the AK-912-63TR. This transport unit resembled the front six-axle section of the main crane, but without the four-axle rear, and it featured a Gottwald low-line cab and a special platform to raise and position the superstructure on uneven ground. Originally delivered as an AK-850 to Toens in Germany, it later worked for Franz Bracht, then Interlift UK. Interlift upgraded it to full AK-912 specifications, boosting capacity to 1,200 tons. From there, it passed to Baldwin's and eventually to ALE Heavy Lift, now part of Mammoth. Even they were giants, they also faced trials. The AK-912 has had its share of challenges. In 2008, its transporter caught fire during a job near in Gabes, Tunisia. The crane was on the way to a job site for a British gas LPG project in Gabes, where it was going to work on an offloading and reception facility. In 2011, it tipped over while being loaded onto a trailer. Despite such incidents, the crane was repeatedly repaired and refurbished, including a major rebuild in 2008. In 2023, Alley's acquired the AK-912, carrying out another refurbishment, before returning it to service. Now operating as a pedestal crane, it remains a valuable high-capacity lifting asset in Alley's fleet, supporting heavy industry projects across the UK. The third AK-912, built in 1987 for Walter Wright in Australia. It was unique in being right-hand drive. Gottwald in Dusseldorf manufactured the main carrier and superstructure, while Favel Favco in Australia supplied the lattice masts and other components. Mammoth later acquired Walter Wright, and the crane eventually sold by Mammoth and went to GH Heavy Lift in Saudi Arabia. It was replaced in 2002 by a DMAG CC8800 and operates in South America for Equipos del Centro. All three cranes share impressive specifications. They can be fitted with 23 to 113 meters of main boom, 29 to 95 meters of luffing jib, a 43 meters derrick mast, and an 89 meters tower boom. Though the luffing jib and maxilift cannot be rigged simultaneously, the crane's standard capacity is 900 tons at a 4.5 meters radius. 
mounted on a 10-axle chassis and measuring 23 meters long, 3 meters wide, and 4 meters high. The drive and steering configuration is 20 by 8 by 16. Power comes from two engines, a six-cylinder Daimler-Benz MBOM for 07A, water-cooled diesel engine producing 206 kilowatts for the superstructure and an 8-cylinder Daimler-Benz MBOM for 24A, water-cooled diesel engine producing 390 kilowatts for the carrier. A 206 tons counterweight is standard, with an additional 550 tons derrick ballast increasing the crane's capacity to 1,200 tons. Stability is provided by massive star-type hydraulic telescopic outriggers, spanning 14.7 meters by 14.7 meters. Securing the crane in every lift. Boom configurations could vary. 113 meters main boom with 206 tons counterweight, 107 meters main boom with 43 meters derrick boom, and 206 tons plus 550 tons counterweight, 95 meters luffing jib with 89 meters tower boom and 206 tons counterweight. Even after four decades, the AK-912 stands as a testament to over-engineering, durability, and the enduring value of a well-built crane. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you won't miss our next incredible machine story. This is Machine Bio. Where Giants comes to life.